despite all the headlines around Apple versus Facebook, if you are an Apple user, it's actually a lot of Google technologies that put your privacy more at risk. And when push comes to shove, in some ways, Apple is favoring Facebook over Google. So is that why is Apple doing this? So what Apple is doing is clearly iMessage is one of its stickiest applications, a secure messaging platform. Google has been building out its own version, Google Messages, built around something called RCS, which is a cross-network, cross-platform standard, SMS 2.0, if you like. Apple should adopt this, which would enable Android users to securely message with Apple users um, without having to go to a third-party overtop platform, Apple. Uh, the computer says no, unfortunately. <laughs> what about what about WhatsApp? Where does WhatsApp come into all this? Because most people are still using WhatsApp, right? Uh, WhatsApp is the big winner. So WhatsApp is primarily used by Android users. So if you go to the US, iMessage is the most popular platform. Um, predominantly, iPhone users are all using iMessage. WhatsApp has never really gotten the foothold in, in America that it has elsewhere. Elsewhere on Android, WhatsApp has become the default Android messenger. If Apple adopted RCS, that would immediately give Google a foot up across Android users in terms of that cross-platform messaging. Apple is not doing that for what you can you know, fairly assume to be pretty selfish reasons. It's interesting, isn't it? Because everyone really talks about the Apple versus Facebook battle and they don't really kind of look into the Google side of it as much. But Google is almost more dangerous than Facebook to the average user. You know, it's got three platforms. It's got Gmail, it's got Chrome and it's got Google search and people's data can be combined across those platforms and be used to serve them advertising very accurately. Google knows a lot about you. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the key criticism of Facebook, let's face it, they, they're coming through the front door. <clears throat> it's the algorithms that drive engagement on Instagram and Facebook itself. It's whether that's targeting, you know, hate and, and violence and, you know, the, the chilling ways the algorithm decides what, what content to fuel you because it knows that you'll stick with the platform. It's pretty blatant stuff. Once you understand it's there, you can see it. Google doesn't go through the front door. Google is operating behind the scenes. It has three quarters of the web trackers, the stitch together between things like Chrome and Gmail and its search engine, it, it is dominant. It's much bigger than Facebook. It's generating a lot more money from, you know, targeted ads and all the rest of it. And I think, you know, there needs to be more awareness in terms of what Google is doing. It's much harder to switch it off. Um, you can't switch off, uh, off the Google algorithms in the way that you can Facebook.